Deputies found groceries on the counter, a bed on the floor, and a car parked in the garage. My friend told me that she could see that there was somebody in there. None of which would be out of the ordinary, except... I didn't know who was in there or what kind of people they were. Joyce Grimsley locked up this home, her home, and moved out two years ago. Foreclosure looms, but county records list Joyce as the current owner. But yet, this woman moved in last year and has been living in Joyce's house ever since. I was angry and I felt violated. I found a Norma Eaton had filed an adverse possession application with the property appraiser's office. Hi there, I'm actually trying to reach Norma Eaton, please. She would not come outside to talk, but Norma Eaton admitted over the phone she moved in last November after an online search led her to Joyce's home. The glut of foreclosures spawned an increase in the number of squatters laying claim to a home based on a century old adverse possession law. It's a big issue um, with the foreclosures that have recently been on the rise um, that has seemed to peak this adverse possession issue. Joyce tried contacting a lawyer and the sheriff's office, but deputies say warnings did not work on Norma Eaton, so she went to jail on a trespass charge. And what we do is give that person a 30 day trespass warning. Um, up to a 30 day trespass warning um, where they have a chance to get their stuff out. Um, if they don't, then they uh, are subject to an arrest. It at least put me at ease that I want people to know how to protect themselves.